If you want to manage your contacts, then Windows 10 has a pre-built application called People, which can be used to manage apps. So you can just go down over here and then search for People. So I'm going to go around to P and here there is People. So let's open this out and that is the address book. And if you were to open this out for the first time, you will see this window. So it says, welcome to people's app, connect to your favorite people and blah, blah, blah. So just like that, I'm going to go over here and get started. So once I do that, it says, let people access and send emails. So usually I'd like to say yes, because uh, it actually helps uh, helps to let us choose the contact from the people's app, then it lets us send an email to it. So that's handy. Let people access calendar. Yes, easy to actually work around with this. So you can see that right now it says, let us get started. And here it's connected to my email. So once that's done, you can press ready and go. And now you get to this window. So, so I don't really have any contact in my contact list. Uh, but if I want to add and manage, then people says a great app. And this is what we're going to uh, see exactly in this lesson. So I'm going to add a new, add in a new contact by pressing on this plus bu button right over here. You can click and choose the photo if you have photos that uh, you want to actually use. But anyways, I'm going to go over here and then skip out that part. So I'm going to add in a name right here. So I'm going to say something like Robert is the name Robert Bert. Uh, for example, is the name, mobile phone number. So I'm just going to throw in a random number over there. And you can also add in phones. Like now there's only one phone number. You can add in a, uh, let's say, for example, a home phone. And then do something like this. So you can add in the area code and everything. So add as many phones as you want. You can also add in uh, emails. So just like that, you can add in emails right over here. You can add in multiple emails like work emails work at gmail.com just like that so you can add in emails as well you can also add an address like home address street city and even other information over here so you can add in website you can add in website here uh test.com just like this so just save that out and once i add in the information you can see that all of the uh, information has been um, recorded and i can see uh the contact list right over here so if I want to add in more, I can actually go over here and then I'm going to press save right over here. And there you go. So you just have two names. So you can accommodate more and more uh, contacts right over here. So if you want to search through a lot of your contacts, you can simply type in right over here. So you can simply type in Robert, something like this, uh, click here and then the uh, contact actually pops up. So Celine, I'm just going to go over here and click it and that pops up over there. So just like this, this is the contact option. You can add in contact, you can search contact. Right over here, you can see that this is filter contact. So high contact without phone number. So if you were to actually select that and press done, you can see that it only shows the contact with phone number. So you can actually filter that out as well. Filtering option is there. Besides that, you have the uh, settings option right over here. So you can uh, display the contact list right over here when you go back can see that the contact list and everything is uh, can be displayed automatically add contacts that you have communicated with recently you can turn that on and you want to sort the name by last name or first name or even by display name by first name or last name you can actually uh, set that out and it'll change the order of the contact which will be actually displayed here so that is how you can actually uh, work around with people's app, manage contacts, and even if you want to send an email, so let's say for example, you can actually click over here and you want to send an email, what you can do is here is an email icon, you can actually click on it and it'll ask you like which app you want to open up to actually send an email. So usually I like to keep it as the mail app and this might not appear if you have already done this. So uh, if you use always use the app, then what happens? happens is that it'll set the mail app as its default. So once you press OK, now every time you click email, you'll actually see that out. So you can actually see this email part out just like this. I'm just going to close this out over here. And that's how you can actually email uh, uh, someone out. And you can also go over here and over here you can see that you also have option to call it with your phone. So if you have your phone uh, connected with your computer, it'll actually dial the number from your phone. And if you press call to Skype, it'll open up Skype 
sign into your Skype account and call from there as well. So that is how you use the People's app inside of Microsoft Windows 10. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.